that's wow. iPhone 11, bro, that's insane. Hey guys, what's up? Jeremy Cruz here. If you didn't know, not only do the iPads now have mouse support, but also the iPhones have mouse support. So what I'm gonna do in this video is test out LumaFusion to see if the iPhone 11 can handle 4K H.265 or HEVC video editing. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is editing footage from my Mavic 2 Pro, which is 4K H.265 or HEVC high efficiency video codec, which is very hard to process. My computer is chugs away when it tries to edit that. I cannot edit it smoothly on my computer. If my iPhone is gonna be smoother than on my computer, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open uh, LumaFusion and I'll be using the mouse. So let's see how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna need to create a new project here. Um, I have my laptop here just to monitor myself. I'm not using it at all to edit this. This is gonna be purely on the iPhone. So I have some footage that I had imported already onto the iPhone. So what we're gonna do here is make a new project. So let's title this 4K Mavic 2 H.265 test. And let's uh, here. Frame rate is gonna be 2628. Uh, landscape plus. Here we go. And then I have an album in here titled. Uh, you know, the scroll doesn't really work well on my mouse. So I'm just gonna use my fingers. That might be easier. I'll let you watch me like start this project and um, I'll do a few test clips and then. I won't film the whole thing and then I'll check in again as I'm finishing the edit. I'll check in with you guys and let you know how it's been going. And then I'll show the end product that I make on here at the end of the video. So make sure to keep watching. Yeah, so here I have the footage and this is all H265, which is really hard for my 2014 MacBook Pro to process. Everything else is so fine on my computer, 4K, um, yeah, 4K plays just fine. My Mavic 1 footage played just fine, super smooth. You do speed ramping without rendering, it works so smooth. 4K on here, yeah, works so smooth. Don't need to render anything, but H.265, since the older MacBook Pros don't have the T2 chip, I guess that's what processes the H.265 footage. Since my computer doesn't have that, it just does not work with the H.265, so. And I think the iPhone 11 actually has that chip or something similar that processes H.265. So this actually might be a lot faster than my laptop. Oh my gosh, I need to get a new laptop for sure. Anyways, let's just try dropping a few clips in and see what happens. Wow, it's really, it's pretty smooth actually scrubbing through. Let's say we do this, set an endpoint. And then let's set an out point right here. Let's drop this in. What's the shortcut for dropping in? W, All right. This might be actually easier without a mouse. So I might end up switching. So here we have it in here. Let's try a speed ramp. So let's say right here is when I want it to stop speeding. So you can't do speed ramps in LumaFusion, but what you can do is cut it and then just, you know, make this clip sp speed up faster, which I mean, it doesn't look as great. It's going to be kind of choppy. So, and you can just do six times speed. So it's not, Let's see how this looks. Wow. I can't believe, oh, we get some choppiness there, but. Yeah, we got some choppiness. Mm. Not looking that great so far. Oh, with this time it's... Huh. Okay. So when I played it the second time, it's playing fine. What if we add a color grade? So let's add a color grade to this. Okay, color grade. Let's see what we can do here. Add a lot. Yeah. Sedona. Let's do Aspen. Blend. Mm. Let's go like around 
80%. So that means I have to put it at 20. Can you still hear me talking? Right, so let's try this, 20 per, so that basically means is that 80%, let's see how fast it can play. We're gonna copy the at, oops, no, oops. So we're gonna copy the attributes, copy, and paste it on here. Paste. Let's see how this works. Wow, that is amazing, I have a LUT on here and it's still playing sped up footage without rendering. That is pretty crazy. I have a, I have some music that I also imported, so let's put that in. Let's just check out one, another clip here. This one, check out this clip, I love this one. Flying through the clouds. Wow, I can't believe how fast you can like scrub through the footage, it's way faster than on my <laughs> computer, that's insane. All right, wait, how do I, oh, I can do this. Ooh, that's nice, keyboard shortcuts work with this too, with LumaFusion. So that's nice. It's almost like you're editing just on a little tiny little computer. So I'm gonna need to speed this up. I'll also put the same LUT on here. So what were we using? Aspen at 80%. Let's make it quicker and do it four times speed. And so, yeah, let's see how this looks. I think the first time, wow, I can't believe it's actually playing smoothly. That's crazy. Wow. What? All right, so, so far my current impression is that you can edit on the iPhone. That's wow. iPhone 11, bro, that's insane. Dude, if Final Cut comes to the iPad, I'm 100% switching to iPad. So I really hope that comes soon. Please, Apple, please. Because I don't want to lug a computer around me with me when I travel. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the camera for now. I'll continue editing. And then I'll start rolling again later when I'm almost done with the edit and we'll see how fast this can export and I'll let you know how the editing experience was. Also, I'm currently screen recording right now. So that might be even slowing it down a little bit, but what? I still can't believe my phone can edit this. That's crazy. Okay, stopping for now. All right, I just finished um, this edit here. So far, I'm gonna say I'm really impressed how fast this phone is. That is crazy that it can edit 4K H.265 footage at 10 bit. This is 10 bit footage, 10 bit color. What? Um, I did stop using the mouse. I ended up just using it like this because it, yeah, it's just a lot easier, smoother. Actually, I found it to be a lot smoother with the mouse, I mean, the program is built, I think, kind of more for touch. So it just felt a lot easier for me. Uh, I'm gonna say the screen is really small, too small. Too small to be enjoyable to edit on. So I definitely enjoy editing on a computer a lot more, but I'm very impressed with what you can do just on an iPhone. That is crazy. If, if like a full version of Final Cut came to the iPad, I would just 100% use that. I think the screen on this is just way too small to be editing on. So that's my conclusion. I, it's not a very enjoyable experience edit on this. It's like, I can do it if I have to, and it kind of makes you more creative. It, yeah, it forces you to be more creative. So it was kind of fun doing it. Um, I have a two minute timeline here, two minute and six second timeline. So let's see how long it takes for this to export here. So again, this is 4K 10 bit H.265 footage. So let's see how long it's gonna take to export. All right, let's have a timer. Let's get a timer here, timer set up. All right, so yeah, we just click this export button here. Movie, save it to photos, 4K. I have the aspect ratio at two to one so that it looks better on phones. Uh, yeah, let's just do ultra. Video quality is on ultra. Highest it can be. Audio quality, H.264. Um, export duration. File size is gonna be one gig. All right. So once I press this button, it's gonna start. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. It's going pretty fast so far. I'm pretty impressed. 
That is pretty crazy. Let's time lapse this. Ready? Go. Another thing I'm going to say is the phone didn't get hot at all while editing this. It didn't get hot at all. How? My computer goes on like space shuttle launch mode when I have to edit H.265 footage. I know, I really need a new laptop. I'm thinking about the MacBook Pro 16 inch. We are nearing completion. Here we go, here we go. Okay, we're almost there. Boom, it's done. It's done. The video is done. It only took one minute, 44 seconds for a two minute and six second clip to export. That means it's exporting faster than real time. What? I don't even think my laptop could do that. Let's watch it. That's my fiance. I didn't have like a ton of clips to work with, so kind of repeated it over and over. It definitely looks a lot nicer in the export than it did when it was just playing in the program. So the quality must have been like a little bit lower than while I was editing. I think the biggest thing I'm missing is stabilization and Luma Fusion. If this had stabilization and speed ramping, oh gosh, dude, I would just use Luma Fusion on the go. Holy baloney. What do you guys think? Dude, the color doesn't look that bad either. It didn't look as good as this in the. Oh, here we go, repeating some claps, but I just had to fill up the song. And there we have it. Dude, what do you guys think? I am really impressed. I do enjoy the laptop editing experience better though. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I do, it was nice kind of using my hands though. It was kind of enjoyable. It's just so small. The screen is so small. You can barely see your video. It's like so tiny. Um, but I'm really impressed that the iPhone 11 can handle H.265 10 bit codec, 10 bit color, H.265 codec. I can't believe this phone can handle it just fine like that. And it exported so fast too. That's crazy. What do you guys think? I'm pretty impressed. Uh, would you ever want to do editing on a cell phone? What do you guys think about mobile editing? I think, I don't know, man. I think it would be fun to try editing on the iPad. Whoops. Hi. It would be fun. It would be a lot of fun to try editing on the iPad. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>
So you're the one responsible. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.